everyone, Charlotte here. Welcome to this video tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how to make this uh, cat leash. It's of course uh, also fine for other small animals like uh, very small dogs that don't pull on their leash. Um, perhaps rabbits, ferrets, any any animal that you would want to put on a leash. This is not a full-on heavy-duty leash, but it's certainly strong enough for small animals and animals that don't pull um, on their leash too hard. Um, we'll be working up this. Um, it's very, it's really quite strong pattern. So it's just made up of single crochets. Um, there's. Uh, You'll see as we move along in the tutorial, there's four single crochets along each row. Um, one on each side, just regular, and in the center we create this crisscross pattern that adds some extra tensile strength. So let's get started. So for this project you'll need some yarn. I'm using this 100% lightweight cotton yarn. I recommend that you use a cotton, although you could also use um, a, a blend, or you could use something like a paracord or anything that, that crochets up, but it, it really needs to be quite uh, lightweight. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a 2.5 millimeter. I wouldn't recommend anything larger than a three. You're probably looking between a two and a three millimeter crochet hook. I'm using 2.5. You'll need uh, a clasp. You'll need a either a D-ring or an O-ring. I'm using one that's 2.5 um, centimeters across. Uh, you could use one slightly smaller, um, not too much smaller, perhaps down to two centimeters. And you could use one slightly larger, maybe up to three centimeters. But this is probably pretty pretty perfect. This 2.5 centimeter. D ring. You'll need something to snip off your ends and you'll also need a darning needle, um, one with a larger eye but it'll, it'll need to have quite a sharp point. So uh, yeah, a finer darning needle. Okay, to get started slip knot onto your hook in whichever way you do that. And we're going to attach our clasp onto the project straight away. So place the, the loop of your clasp in between the two strands of yarn. Hook comes through the loop, pull up a yarn, pull through, and then complete a single crochet. And then pull that nice and tight. So all of these, pull them nice and tight. So hook comes through the loop, pull up at yarn, and complete a single crochet. So it's like your loop is 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 the stitches below um, in a in a normal project. So yarn hook comes through the loop, pull the yarn through, and complete your single crochet. And one more time. So you have four. So pull those nice and tight. Now chain one, got more yarn. Chain one, and then we're going to go back and at, um, back and, and reinforce this connection. So come back through, back through the, the loop, and single crochet over the top of your previous row. Now just try to line those up as best you can but pull nice and tight and do three more of those so two and three nice and tight and four so you've reinforced that that base and hopefully you've been able to work over top of your previous row. Now chain one and then in the first stitch single crochet in the your next stitch will come into the third single crochet. We're going to create that crisscross 
in the center. So come into your third single crochet. These first couple of rows might be, this first row at least anyway, might be a, bit, a little bit tricky because you've pulled so tight, which you need to do. So now, from now on, don't work so tightly. Um, so you've single crocheted into that third stitch. Come back and single crochet into the second stitch. Cotton has split there into the second stitch and then into the fourth stitch just single crochet okay so that's the pattern that we will be repeating so chain one turn single crochet into that first stitch then single crochet into the third stitch Come back, single crochet into the second stitch, and then single crochet into the fourth stitch. And pull those end stitches, those two single crochet on the end, relatively tight. Okay, chain one, turn, and we're just going to repeat that all the way along this project. So that crisscross in the middle is just going to add a little bit of extra strength to your textile, your finished textile. And just keep working, remembering to keep the, the two end stitches quite tight, but you'll have to be a little bit looser in the center, otherwise it'll become more difficult to find your particularly your second stitch when you work into that second stitch it can be a little bit tricky to find so chain one I'll just do one or two more rows on camera and then I'll leave you to complete the length that you want your leash to be so there's no there's no prescribed length for this pattern you'll you'll just keep working perhaps until you've run out of yarn or until you have reached your desired length. Okay, cross and then into that fourth single crochet. Oh, I've only got one loop in that last one. So yeah, make sure you get both loops in those last stitches and make that edge a nice and tidy but also nice and strong. So you'll start to see a pattern emerging, emerging here so that we've got those single crochets on the end and then we've got this crisscross pattern in the center and it'll um, yeah it'll bring in this crisscross it'll start to emerge more as a pattern but it just adds that extra um, tensile strength by creating this crisscross in the center. So let's just do one more row on camera, single crochet in that first stitch, third stitch, single crochet, second stitch which can be a little bit tricky to find, second stitch, single crochet and then last stitch single crochet. Okay, so there's the beginning of your leash, your cat leash. So keep on working until you've reached your desired length or close to your desired length and I'll meet you back here and we'll be attaching the D-ring at the top to make the the hand loop, the hand, the hand hold loop or the wrist the wrist attachment. So keep working um, until you're about, let's say, five centimeters from the end of where you want to be, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I just wanted to check in with you and show you after a few rows the pattern that's emerging. So this is what your leash should be starting to look like. So you'll see that you've got the, the crisscross down the center. And hopefully your ends are quite, your, your edges are quite even. 
ends of rows. So you need to be reminding you, just reminding you to need to be pulling those ends, those end stitches quite, quite tight. So hopefully your project's starting to look something a bit like this. And keep going and I'll catch you soon. Okay, so I've worked my leash to the length that I want it, which I've worked to 1 meter 20. You, obviously you work to however long you want your leash to be. And now we are going to be attaching the O-ring or D-ring, depending on what you've got, to the, the top of the leash to create uh, a wristband or a, or a handhold. So... So once you've finished what you're, the row that you're on, chain one and turn, just like you've been doing, and place your O-ring or D-ring along the edge, so upside down along the edge there, and take your, your working end and take it to the, the, the back side. And then work as you would through the stitch, through the, the ring and then single crochet over top of the ring. Now again, once again at this end, pull nice and tight with each with each stitch that you work. So moving along to the next stitch, complete a single crochet over your ring and again pull nice and tight. Third stitch, so get a little bit more yarn. So we're working over top of that, that ring, and then fourth and final, work in. Okay. So pull those nice and tight, chain one, and then we're going to go over it again. So go back into the bottom of that last stitch. This is just to make it nice and secure and tight. And work over top of your previous row as best you can. Pull it tight into the next stitch. Pull it tight. Third stitch. So you're just working into the base of those previous stitches. And then fourth. Okay, so we've got a nice secure connection there. Just pull it tight. And now you just pull through your yarn. So pull a, a good length through. And snip off your end. Pull that the end on the ball through. Set that aside. And then we'll work in these tail ends. So we're going to work in our ends. Now you'll need this darning needle that has quite a large eye but a sharp end. Often darning needles have that larger eye but they're not very sharp at the end so you'll need quite a sharp end to work through so thread your, thread your darning needle With your end and then we're going to weave this weave this end into those single crochet stitches so hopefully you can get all the way across so weave all the way through it's going to be a little bit tricky.
coupling that through. Okay, so I've got that through. So pull through once and then work work back through. So um, let's just get that nice and tight. And then you're going to work back through. So don't go back through that same loop. Work under underneath the next loop and get that all the way through. Let me just it's quite tight in there so it's going to take a little bit of work to get that that needle through but you want it obviously you want it nice and tight as tight as you can make it and then weave through a third time just to make sure everything's nice and secure in there Okay, so you've attached your D-ring. So you can see for this project, um, I perhaps could have done with a slightly smaller D-ring, but these are the ones that I've got, so that's what I'm using. And now you'll, you'll obviously sew in your other end. I'm gonna, I'll do that off camera. But now thread your, some of your leash through, and that creates your wrist hold or hand hold. So that's a sliding system, so you can hold on to it. And there you have your leash. So congratulations on your finished leash. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, I'll be sharing more free patterns uh, for you and your fashionably adventurous kitty. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for being here, and let's uh, normalize cats on leashes. Take care. Bye.